and we've got a lot of stations lining up to pick it up. What I don't have is the infrastructure for affiliate relations to work with the stations. What I don't have is enough reporters or writers. We have enough to do it basically, but when you add all the money in for the closed captioning, satellite feeds, legal, other issues like that, we're going to expend all the capital this operation has, and that's not a good position to be in. You want to have some backup because we deal with the occasional dirty trick, the occasional problem, things we have to handle. I mean, any business, any operation needs really six months of capital. We got a couple months of capital. And if I do this and if you don't support us, I'll expend that, which I'm ready to do because I'm not going to sit here and have half measures. I'm going to go all out against the globalists. We're going to skip this network break. be the last one I skipped today. But I do need your support, and I do need your help. We are in the face of the globalist. We're basically vigilante media. We transcend the labels. We're for basic freedom. You have a right to private property, a right to not be forced to take vaccines, a right to not have your guns taken, a right to be sovereign, a right to not have foreigners come in and get everything free to be a political group to vote you into slavery. I don't care what color you are, where you're from, you have basic rights. We promote basic pro-human ideas. We promote common sense. We promote life. You got left wing, you got right wing? No. There's the life wing and there's the death wing. And the globalists are the cult of the death wing. That's the wings they fly on. It's what they live by. They are predators. They love death. They love disease. They love fraud. They love squalor. They love a dumbed-down population. They can feed on like cattle. I don't think you're cattle. I don't think I'm cattle. Because when I think of you as cattle, I've just dehumanized myself. That's a power trip. It's easy to laugh at the dumbed-down masses. I actually cry. I laugh on the surface because it's not funny. It makes me sick. It's gallows humor. I know I'm right. I know I'm dead on. I know I understand the enemy's operations. I've read their books. I've read their white papers. I've studied the New World Order. I know their game plan. We've accurately, on so many fronts, predicted what they're going to do. They can't stand it. And now this operation needs to go to the next level now. And believe me, I was sitting around talking to my dad last night at my grandmother's 90th birthday, or lunch, I should say, before the radio show. And I said, I know I can go to 40 million a week we're reaching, and if it does that, it'll be 100 million. I know I can get so big and so damaging to the globalist, they're going to come after me. But I said, my cells won't let me not do it. It's not about showing off. It's not about wanting to fight. It's about knowing that I am aiding and abetting the new world order if I don't go into this 110%. And I've got a trump card, and that's Jesus Christ. And so it's whatever God's will is will happen to me. I'm at peace. The only selfish thing I ask God is to protect my children. And I will 100% never submit, never back down, never give in, never sell out. I commit before God Almighty. And all I ask is you, the listeners and viewers, to understand that none of us are perfect. None of us have all the answers. But if our heart's right, and if we want justice, and if we take action, God will lead God and direct us. Even if you don't believe in God, the universe, energy, whatever, providence, it works. It's real. The enemy knows it. They worship the God of death and of disease and of fraud and of oppression and of balkanization and divide and conquer. It's easy to be evil. It's easy to play those games. I know how the new order works. I wanted to come in here and play their tactics. Even today, I could shoot to high levels in their organization. They've tried to hire me so many times, makes my head spin. That's what they do. They get you to join them. I'll never join them, ever. And that's the commitment. But it's joining them to not go 110%. I didn't want to grow this operation eight years ago. I wanted to stay small. I wanted to just underground reach millions of people, make films, I knew how dangerous it was, and I looked at myself in the mirror one day, and I hit my knees, and I just said, God, I don't want to be a coward. Help me be strong. Help me go all the way. And that's what we've done. And now I'm going to go even closer to the gates. I'm going to go all the way in, right into the throne room of the New World Order, right up front, in front 
of the kings of this age and let them know, as imperfect as I am, I stand for life, I stand for justice, and I'm not afraid. And whatever happens to me, that's in God's plan. So believe me, I don't want the work. I don't want the hassle of more reporters and more writers and more stuff and more things I got to worry about and more things I got to deal with. But I'm going to do it because I'm going for broke, all in, doubling, tripling, quadrupling down because I'm not going to sit there when I'm 75 with my heart failing in some hospital wishing I'd have gone all the way, wishing I'd have fought harder, wishing I would have done more. I'm going to do it now. But I need your help to do it. So join me in this fight. Let's go to this piece we're putting out. We're posting it to Infowars.com, Operation Money Bomb 2015. Email it, Twitter it, Facebook it. It's going up on Infowars.com right now. Help us get this video out to everyone and make it go viral so we can raise a million dollars to reach 400 million more people. If we reach 20 million more people a week, which is just doubling the audience, most of them tune in and out. In the aggregate, that'll be about 400 million people in the next year. That's how many we're talking about in Mexico, the U.S., and Canada that potentially we can hit. But the derivatives of this, once, once, once we launch this, I'm going to turn the satellites on in Europe, Africa, Asia, once we get the money. I plan to take profits if we're able to put this on TV with a few ads per hour and make money. I intend to go worldwide with this. Now let's go ahead and go to this breakdown. Totalitarianism comes in many different flavors throughout history. It can come from the right wing, the left wing. It can come from religious cults. It can come from a foreign invading army. And in the modern 21st century, it's basically coming from political correctness. Masquerading as the Renaissance, masquerading as liberalism, it seeks to shut down free speech. And the controlled globalist left has willing accomplices in the Republican Party and other conservative and libertarian organizations and groups throughout the world. The robber barons that control this planet are not free market. They are monopoly men who seek to have systems free of competition, controlled by offshore combines above the law. The main mission of Infowars.com and my 20 years on air is to shatter the left-right paradigm and to get the public to become aware of what's really governing and controlling society on a mass scale. Bottom line, we have reached that legendary, colossal moment in history where the next thousand years of human development, our very destiny is being decided. That's why we're launching Operation Money Bomb 2015. The first money bomb I've done in three years because we only do these if they're critical to be able to build up our infrastructure. And with the money we raise from this, we will be able to stay on the satellites and get on UHF, VHF, and cable stations across North America, reaching tens of millions of more people right at the time they're receptive and looking for answers. Starting September 16th through the 17th, we're going to broadcast live from 11 a.m. on the 16th through 2 p.m. on the 17th for 27 hours with an amazing lineup of guests, investigative journalists, documentary films, and more. We are seeking to raise a million dollars so that we can reach 400 million extra people potentially in the next year. Because if you do the math, and if you look at the numbers that we're already getting from affiliates and from the internet and from YouTube and from Facebook and all the platforms, we are reaching 20 million people a week. If you put all that together over a year, that's upwards of 200 million different individuals around the world is how the algorithm metrics come out. So I simply want to double that in the next 12 months after launching this money bomb. Just the satellites, the closed captioning under federal law and other regulations will cost us right at $39,000 a month, which if you add it together is over $400,000 a year alone. When you talk about cameras, crew, studio, million dollars is only a portion of what we need to do this but it's an important part to ensure 
with the collapsing economy and the hard times we're going into that we have the funds it takes to keep this beacon of truth exposing globalism and dehumanization operating so join us this september 16th and 17th for what i believe will be the final money bomb that infowars ever runs as we prepare to launch to the next and final level of global awakening because as mahatma gandhi famously said first they ignore you then they laugh at you then they attack you then you win we are in that process of being massively attacked and in the face we're charging up, getting ready, and going in. Go to infowars.com forward slash money bomb for all the information. And in closing, I want to say this to all of you patriots out there across the globe that have spread the word about our operation and that have supported us. History is happening right now. The destiny of humanity is being decided right now. And Infowars, which you, the viewers and listeners and activists, stand at the heart of, is the engine that has made all this possible. You're not standing behind the info war. You are standing at the center of it. You are right beside us in this fight. And I guarantee you, George Washington, Thomas Jefferson, and Sam Adams would be incredibly proud of what you've done in defense of human freedom, in defense of true liberty. So from myself, Alex Jones, and the entire InfoWars crew, we salute you. Join us this September 16th and 17th for the 27-hour Money Bomb in defense of human liberty. Infowars.com forward slash money bomb, and you can find that promo video. You can uh, find places to donate. Uh, you can also buy the products if you want to support us the high quality nutraceuticals, the books, the videos, all of it. It just takes a lot of money to fund and run this operation and to pay my crew a livable wage so they can take care of their families and stay focused on the fight. But you can go to Infowars.com forward slash show to find links. Infowars.com forward slash money bomb. And we're also posting on Infowars.com Operation Money Bomb 2015, the video. Send out to your friends and family. Please upvote it and support it because the trolls always go crazy when we uh, do stuff like this. But regardless, we're, we're doing it. Regardless, we're launching it. So Infowarsstore.com or Infowars.com forward slash money bomb. And please support our local AM and FM affiliates as well. We'll be back. Stay with us. Here's Paul Watson with a key report. We're going to talk about racism. According to MTV's Francesca Ramsey, it's impossible for black people to be racist. Ramsey claims that the dictionary definition of racism, the hatred or intolerance of another race, isn't the true meaning of racism. Because it's just the dictionary. Really? Isn't that convenient? So it's okay for social justice warriors to claim, just look at the dictionary definition when it comes to feminism. All you morons who are too f***ing stupid to look up the definition of feminism. With no mention of the fact that radical feminism in practice has virtually nothing to do with the dictionary definition of feminism, but suddenly different rules apply when you're talking about racism. Ramsey says black people can't be racist towards white people, only prejudiced. Reverse racism is not a thing. First off, that has no legal basis whatsoever. According to the 1968 Civil Rights Act and the 1994 Violent Crime Control and Law Enforcement Act, a racially motivated hate crime carries the same punishment no matter the race of the perpetrator or the victim. Secondly, she claims it's only racism if it's backed by a major institution. But when a person of color discriminates or stereotypes a white person because of their race, in the United States, they don't have the institutional power to back them up and say that those feelings are okay. Oh, you mean like affirmative action? Major institutions of learning giving African Americans college places based on their skin color and not their academic achievement in favor of whites. Is that racist? Goldsmiths University, a major institution, refusing to fire student diversity officer Bahar Mustafa after she banned white people from attending a college event. Is that racist? Black on white crime, the major institution of media 
routinely ignoring or downplaying the fact that black people are 27 times more likely to attack white people than vice versa, while collectively blaming all white people when one nutcase goes on a rampage. Is that racist? Only white people can be racist.